What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we'll be going over how to create LUTs inside of Premiere Pro. Now, if you don't know what a LUT is, it's basically an Instagram filter for your video, shown here, well, to, to this video right here. I filmed in Vlog on a GH5, which is this desaturated format, and then I applied a LUT, which makes it look like this. Super simple, so let's jump into Premiere Pro and make this thing. Okay, now that we're in Premiere Pro, you can see that I have some log footage here from my GH5. Now you can use this on normal footage, vlog footage, all kinds of different footage. At the end of the day, a LUT stands for lookup table, which means it just changes color values to another value. So if you get the orange and teal look, you can apply an orange and teal LUT, stuff like that. You can buy them online. There's a bunch of free ones online. I'll put some resources down below. Other than that, let's just make one inside Premiere Pro. So, I have my GH5 footage here, and I want to grade this, um, not every time. So, I filmed in this little store in New York City, and I've got probably 50 different clips of in this store. I just dragged in another clip. I'm going to put it in my timeline, and you can see it's like this uh, Chinese figure in the store. Um, it's pretty cool right there. Let's back it up in time. We can just see that. Cool, and let's uh, grade this. So we're gonna open up our Lumetri color panel, and if you don't see it, I'm gonna close mine out. You're gonna get a window in Lumetri color. Now, once you grade it, you can create a LUT from your grade. So grab your effects over here. Let's bump up the contrast a whole bunch. Bump up the saturation a whole bunch. Maybe the exposure just a hair. Bring the shadows down a little bit. Go down to creative. Um, nope, not creative, I'm sorry. Go down to curves. Let's put an S curve on here real quick. Click, click, click. S curve. S curve. And this would be like a, a, a Rec 709 LUT that you could create inside of Premiere Pro. Now we're going to save this LUT. So you're going to click these three little lines right here and click export.cube. When you do that, it opens up a dialog. I have a folder where I save my LUTs. I already created one before called Fade 709 Blue. And we're going to call this one a, a Red Grade. Uh, vlog GH5. So I know it's from my GH5. I can bring this into my stuff anytime and good to go. So now that I've created that LUT, I want to use this LUT. So let's go to our next piece of footage, which is this little Asian figure. Really awesome store, by the way, in the city. The city is a great place to film. I could talk about it all day, but let's get back to the work. Anyways, so now that we have our Lumetri color panel open on this new piece of footage, we can always go to input LUT, go to browse, and find that LUT we just used, click OK, and boom, we have this already created inside of here. Now, there might be a little fine tuning, but for the most part, this is your grade. Now, I will show you really quickly how to apply these LUTs the right way so you can really use them in the future for other things. So, um, whenever you're grading something inside of Premiere Pro, now that we know how to use LUTs, what we'll do is we'll right click, go to New Adjustment Layer, cl click OK and then drag that adjustment layer above your footage. Now, the adjustment layer is where you're gonna apply your LUT to so you can easily edit it for your footage. Because once you apply your LUT to your footage on the footage, it's kind of there. You can't really control how powerful it is because the LUT may work a lot better for this clip versus working for this clip. So you might need to change the level of intensity that the LUT is being applied. So we'll click on our adjustment layer above this footage, drop down on the input LUT, go to browse, and then do red, or regular grade vlog gh5 which is what i just created click ok back to normal here it is but on the adjustment layer we can go to our effect controls inside of premiere pro and if you don't see your effect controls go to window and effect controls right there then we can just go to our opacity on the adjustment layer and bring it down to like i don't know 75 percent and it's nice it's a lot better and then we can uh, increase the contrast Bring up the brightness a little bit. Bring the shadows down. Whatever you want to make it look a little nicer. And that's how you create LUTs inside of Premiere Pro and use them on your footage. Creating them is one thing. Using them is another. Lots of steps into the process. Is Premiere Pro the best way to grade your footage? Sure. For you, for me, it works. For YouTube, totally awesome. More professional stuff is more like DaVinci Resolve. A lot more control over what you do and create. Maybe we'll get into that in a different video. I also wanted to say that Premiere Pro is not the only way that you can make LUTs. 
You can make them in Lightroom, Photoshop. Heck, there's even custom software for making LUTs. I'd love to show you how to do that. Just ask me down below in the comments and I will gladly make another video about those subjects. Premiere Pro is great, but in my opinion, it's probably not the best way to make LUTs. Although it is fast. It's a lot faster than the other stuff because it's all inside the software. So, it has that going for it for sure. So I do use it a lot for that. But for today, LUTs have been checked off. As always, I am Max. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of the channel. If you haven't already, subscribe. It's a big help to me and YouTube and stuff like that so I can keep making videos. And feel free to like the video. No big deal at all. Other than that, thank you. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>